Welcome back to the garage everyone. Today I thought we would do a video on where to find cheap and or free scrap metal to use in welding projects. If you're just a beginning welder you may not want to pay what a big box or a farm store wants for their new metal and you're probably not ready to place an order with a steel supplier. A lot of times they have minimum order quantities you need to meet in order to even be able to purchase from them. So I will show you some of the scrap metal I find, where I find it, some other places you can look for scrap metal, and I'll show you a couple projects I've made out of scrap metal to give you some ideas to use your scrap metal. So I'm gonna grab this camera and I'll take you over here where I keep a lot of my metal and we'll start getting to it. So on this side over here, I've got a few different things. This is a cutoff from a truck chassis when they shorten the frame. That's really good steel. It's pretty thick. The only downside is the corners aren't square 90s. They're kind of rounded. However, you can cut some decent sized plate out of this like I've done. And then the, these tubes are from a trailer that were cut off. So if you have a place in your area that upfits trucks or tr builds trailers, you may be able to go to them, ask if they've got any cutoffs like this. They may not give them to you for free, but they should be cheap since they're cutoffs. This here, all of this angle, is from a product that we sell at work. When we order a full skid, it comes on a steel skid with these pieces of angle running up the corners so they can shrink wrap it. So when we sell through the skid, I usually cut it up and bring the pieces home. Then as you can see here, this is a flower that the, is made out of spoons. This big piece here is from a trailer as well. I don't know what I'm ever gonna do with it because this is about one inch thick, but it was there and available, so I took it home. You can see I got some more angle from those skids back here. These are just horseshoes that I found at Goodwill. These are the throwing kind, not the uh, actual horseshoe that you put on a horse. And I've got some other pieces of angle stuck in here and some other odds and ends that I've just found. All right, so in this box, I've got just random odds and ends. This stuff pretty much all comes from either finding it in a parking lot or going to Goodwill or garage sales. There's random nuts, bolts, brackets, um, cheese grater, strainer. This is part of a vegetable steamer. U-bolt I found. I mean, there's some good round stock there if you ever need a short piece. That's all little brackets and pieces of angle and springs and stuff like that that I've just found on the ground. You may be able to go to truck yards, uh, places that upfit trucks, ask them if you can walk around their yard and just pick up any metal you find. A lot of times it's a problem with forklifts and truck tires going flat anyways. Uh, you can see I got, there's a Goodwill sticker still here. A lot of this stuff I get at a thrift store. Goodwill does 50% off certain colored tags. So I usually buy this type of stuff when the tag is on sale for 50% off. A lot of this stuff I'll build things like this bird here. I mean, that's a couple forks, some spoons, a piece of rebar and round stock. This little branch coming out of the ground here is actually a piece of this candle holder. So all that type of stuff you can find cheap at thrift stores, garage sales, or like I said, asking to clean up somebody's parking lot. Uh, garage sales, you get the best deal if you go on the last day and offer to buy stuff in lots, because otherwise people are gonna have to put it back in their houses. So that's something to keep in mind when you're looking for scrap metal. So this is where things get a little interesting if you can get your mind to think outside of the box a little bit. All of this gray painted steel was a shelving unit that we were replacing at work and they were just gonna throw in the dumpster and ask if anybody wanted it before they threw it away. Now, as you can see, this metal's not flat, it's not angle, it's kind of weird shaped. 
This is angle, however, it's got these notches in it where some of the shelving pieces fit together. And then this is kind of an angle, but they're pretty wide on one side and short on the other. But if you can get yourself to think about the pieces that make up a shelving unit or things along those lines, you can actually find a lot of metal. All right, so we're back up top here for some of these longer pieces that I've got. So this angle iron I've got here, this is actually a, an old bed frame. It's actually our old bed frame. It's actually very strong steel. However, it's a pain to drill into. If you're looking for those, you can find them at thrift stores, garage sales. Garbage night's a good night to go looking for metal stuff on the curb. Even apartment complexes, if you go towards the end of the month and check out the apartment's dumpster area, you may be able to find stuff like this. People that are moving out don't want to take it with them. And then over here, I've got some real long angle iron. Once again, this is actually from a truck upfitter. When the chassis come in, they don't have anything on the back of them, so they need somewhere to put tail lights and mud flaps for them to be legal to drive. So these are what mud flaps and taillights are bolted to, and they're almost eight feet wide, and it's pretty thick. I think it's quarter inch, quarter inch thick angle. So I mean, that's another thing to check if you do have a truck upfitter or something like that, or a trailer manufacturer near you. It's a really good place to make a good relationship with somebody that works there so you can get access to this kind of stuff. I can actually get almost as much of this as I want um, within reason, obviously it's limited to what trucks are coming in, which is a little tight right now due to the availability of trucks and cars. But it is a good source of metal. So real quick, I just came out to my enclosed trailer. I wanted to show you some of the other scrap metal I picked up. All this metal here came from the curb. It was literally somebody was throwing it away on the curb. So I grabbed that. All this plate was from the same house where I got the other metal I just showed. So there's a decent amount of plate there really for some small projects. This piece was out there as well. I don't know what it was for, but it's a fairly thick piece. And then all of this pipe I've got sitting back here, they're all probably two feet long or so, but there's a bunch of it. And then I do have another piece of that angle iron that comes off the truck chassis for the mud flaps and taillights in here. These rings also came from the same house that had all this metal out to the curb. I don't know what they're from or what they're for, but I figured at some point I could make some kind of piece of art. All right, I told you I would show you a couple projects I had made out of scrap metal. This is one of them. It's not quite finished yet, but it's pretty close. So this is a 20 ton hydraulic press that I built. And we're going to go in here and take a closer look at what all these pieces are. So this top piece was a piece of a trailer from an outside source from the trailer manufacturer. This bridge and this bed are both made out of that angle I just showed you that the mud flaps and taillights are held up by. This bottom piece here is a piece of that truck frame channel. And then the two uprights on the left and the right are actually a piece of what used to be this trailer tongue. It was a two by three piece of trailer tongue. This was actually from my old trailer. I got a different boat to put on it and had to replace the tongue and make it longer. But I actually kept it long, I did that long before I started welding and it was still behind our shed at my parents' house. And it just so happened to be about perfect for this. So the only things that were purchased for this was the bottle jack. There's a nut and a bolt here for different attachments. And then these two pins to adjust the bed. All the rest of this was scrap metal that I found and didn't pay anything for. Another thing I made out of scrap metal is this gate to get underneath this chicken coop. 
the frame is all made from that black angle iron that I get from the truck chassis that holds the mud flaps and tail lights. Obviously I had to buy the hinges and the latch. The netting is just chicken wire and netting that I had from doing the rest of this project. On this side of the coop, I made both of these shelf brackets for the water bucket. This is that thinner angle iron that I get from the pallets that I cut apart. The only thing I bought was this flat stock to make the diagonal brace because I didn't have anything that would work. A big part of getting things cheap or free um, is going to be building relationships with some of these shops and people. Be courteous, be kind, respect their business. Don't go when it's super busy. Don't leave them a mess if they do let you look through their scrap pile. Um, it may help if you explain to them that, hey, look, I'm just learning how to weld, looking for some scrap metal to practice on. Is Do you have anything that I can use? And that can go a long way into getting them into some common ground with you. Let them know you're not building something that you're gonna sell. A lot of people for whatever reason even if it's garbage don't like the idea of other people making money off of their garbage so you know give them the story you're welding learning how to weld you need some stuff to practice on you've got a project around the house you need to get done and you know the material may not be an important part of it so scrap's fine give them a little bit of a story to get them to connect with you a little bit and start building that relationship and that may last for years into the future if you play your cards right. If you're going to be hitting garage sales for some of this stuff, check with your local towns. They usually have a citywide garage sale weekend where everybody kind of jumps in and has a garage sale so you can hit multiple in a day. Um, and then a lot of times after, the week after that weekend, they do a, an unlimited garbage day where you can take as much as you want out to the curb and get rid of it after the garage sale. That's a good time to drive around and see what kind of stuff you can find out at the curb in somebody's garbage to reuse. When you're looking for scrap metal, an important thing is to keep an open mind. Like I said, this shelf, there's a lot of usable metal there. It's a little odd shaped, but I know there's things I'll be able to use it for. I'm, that's what's gonna turn into my plasma table because it doesn't really matter what shape anything is as long as I've got the thin slats. Last but not least, like I mentioned before, let your friends and family know that you're looking for this kind of stuff. Have them send you a picture of anything metal that they're getting rid of, anything they're getting ready to throw away that's metal. Tell them to send you a quick picture of it. You'll tell them right away if you want it or don't want it. And then just be sure that you can get there and pick it up quick so you can get it out of their way. I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope you got some valuable information out of this video. Um, and I hope you kind of can open up your mind a little bit and think outside the box when you start seeing some of this garbage or small metal pieces, shelving units, that sort of thing, and realize that there is a lot of usable material there, especially if you just need to practice welds. If you just need to practice welds, having small pieces around that you don't have to necessarily cut up, different thicknesses, um, all that goes into your welding skill. So having the variety of materials you can get through scrap is actually very helpful. It can be a bit challenging when you start trying to build a project and need a lot of a certain material. I've got some video ideas for the future, but if you wanna see anything more about what I've shown in this video, let me know in the comments below. I do plan on doing a scrap metal art video at some point. I'm just trying to figure out the order of things and that's on my list. If you want to see that sooner rather than later, let me know that. If you want to know more about the press that I built, we can do a video on that if you'd like. I probably will anyways because I need to finish it. Other than that, I do believe the next video that I do is going to be building the plasma table out of this shelving unit back here. And I have an old table saw that doesn't work anymore. The pieces are not available to fix it. So I'm going to use the base from that as the actual table to catch sparks and everything. And then I'm going to make the top out of this shelving unit back here. So keep an eye out for that in the coming weeks. If you want to follow along on that build, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate taking the time to watch.